What is going on everyone and welcome back to another water hopping episode before we get into today's video If you guys haven't already, please do me and yourselves a favor hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel I see a couple of bass paired up right there and I really want to catch them because it looks like there might be a female there I can't see something like that And not grab a medium rod and throw something on bottom you just can't see betters like that and just not not try and catch a few. Just can't do it. It's not it's not allowed, really, I don't think in the in the bass book of uh bass dictionary it's uh not allowed. I mean it's just gonna be like a something small. It's probably close, but a little brighter. Alright. Do I want to rig up a drop shot though? Or throw something on the bed? Speed crawl. Rigged up one of my favorite bed fishing baits. That's a tiny little light Texas rig. Usually I go peg, but didn't take the time to put a peg on today. So we got a free floating weight right here, which just means it can slide up the line fishing a speed crawl. I love it because it's small, but it's got a lot of action. And one of the fastest favorite things to do is just grab the very tips of lures when they're just trying to pull it off of their bed. So one of my favorite things to do is fish smaller baits during the spawn. And a speed crawl is something that's a little bit better, not a huge whole lot going on here. Better chance for them to hook up and maybe even grab one of these legs and get some of the hook that way. So we're gonna throw that out there. Natural color for this little, not so tingy water. And, uh, well, there's a pile of bass over here. Let's see if one of them will uh, come along and eat this speed crawl here, guys. trying to stay up this bank there's some distance between me and this bank that's for a reason these fish probably a lot of them already know I'm here but some of them don't just trying to be as sneaky about this as we really can that's the whole goal here guys sneaky and you got to be very watchful so, like I said these bass when they're spawning they're really not trying to eat so much as they're just trying to get stuff off their bed just shoo get off my bed that's what they're doing they're just picking it up and moving it as far as they have to move it to where they're back into their comfort zone and they're not nervous about whatever has just come into their bedding area. Not what we were after. Second bass in this little corner. bass from one corner. I'll take that. And there guys, third fish from this corner. These bass are much more aggressive in this corner than the other one. I wonder if it's because there's more fish here, that's why these fish are so fired up. You know, the competitive thing. Get that feeding frenzy going type deal? Possibly. Alright, let's keep it moving. I see three contestants right here. Oh, he first cast in there. Mm -hmm. Tighten that drag just a smidgen. 
Okay, here we go. See, he just left, so I'm gonna hold off for a moment because he's busy chasing fish right now. Okay, he's on his way back to his bed. I'm gonna give it a pop. Another pop. You see it yet, guy? He's turning on it. He's got it. Eat it. Got him that time. Oops, it easy. Come on now. Don't want to get you in the weeds, bud. Second flip in there. Tiny fish, but still a fish. Number four. Put a new craw on here. This is what we're fishing. So this lure right here has made all the difference, guys. Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. We're throwing it in pumpkin color. I said watermelon earlier. Apologies, that's definitely not watermelon. Well, watermelon's red, you know, just the just the green on the outside is, is what's green. The actual watermelon that you eat is uh, is red, you know. Give him a real shot. Always good idea to throw past the bed a little bit and bring it to the fish. Just looks a little bit, little bit more natural that way. You just, your odds are better if you can bring it to the bed, especially like when the fish can see it coming. There we go, come on now. Got your attention, Mr. 14 inch bass. It's nosing it. All the difference, folks. Pass number five. Obviously we aren't catching bigs today, guys, but we're catching them. It's fifth bass, all thanks to that rig right there. Little pumpkin speed craw. Bass number five. Shoot. Please. Okay, got this little corner here. Covered in a mat. Pretty much the only thing you can throw into here is like a really heavy Texas rig, and I would only do that if I had a spot in mind, but in my opinion, the only thing you're fishing in a spot like this matted up corner is a hollow body frog. Oh, whoa. Knew I had to fish this back corner. Now let's just see if we can pull a fish out. Looking for a hydrilla gorilla. A mat fatty. It's usually where you find the bigs, places no one else wants to go, except the rule of thumb. Not a big, but that's a frog fish. Push. All right, guys, quick video, just, uh, Got out today, only had about an hour and a half to fish. We caught six bass guys and the first frog fish of the year. But the main thing for today was finding a probably a new favorite bed fishing lure right here, guys. I mean, I've had these for a while, but I've never really tried them for bedding. Something really, really awesome about this uh, Ultra Vibe Speed Craw, pumpkin colored. Not a new bait on the market, definitely been out for a little while. But man, the the action on it is probably the biggest win for me. The way it sinks into the water is super cool and like just perfect. It's got this, this nice little kick to it and these really small little appendages on the side that are kind of always doing this. Anyways guys, it just kind of seemed like that speed crawl was the deal today guys and I was able to figure it out because of that. We went to a really tiny little weight, lead weight, but it was only a quarter ounce. Fishing that speed crawl on a straight shank hook, also another key. I'm usually someone that kind of likes to go EWG and uh, spread that out a bit, give the fish a little bit more 
more something to drive into when you're setting the hook. But today we went straight chank and I honestly think that made a difference. Sometimes I've seen when you're fishing these bedded bass, they'll grab onto that huge EWG offset. They will grab literally the backside of the hook and just carry that off the bed. So the less you give them to grab, the better, the better chances that they're gonna get something that enables you to set the hook on them. I hope you guys are appreciating the videos. We're aiming for 25 to 50 likes a video. And if you guys are willing to help me out, I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers here in the next few months. So any and all support is hugely appreciated. We have that 500 subscriber video coming up pretty soon because we just crossed over that. So I'm gonna be announcing that giveaway here pretty soon. Thanks for the support guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, maybe think about going and picking up a set of these. Zoom, ultra vibe, speed crawl, pumpkin colored. Go get you guys some anyways. Keep water hopping guys and I'll see you soon.